Thanks for staying with us. This is Nigeria Today on TVC News. We'll begin in the nation's capital, where the federal government has begun the process of concessioning the Ajaokuta Steel Company and the nation's ore mining complex in Itakwe. This decision was taken at the Federal Executive Council meeting held at the council chambers of the presidential villa Abuja. Also, approval was given to the Ministry of Science and Technology for the 2022 revised energy policy. TVC News State House correspondent Femi Akonde reports. The Industrial Revolution of President Muhammad Buhari's administration may soon gain traction with the approval of transaction advisors on plans to concession the Ajakuta Steel Company and the National Iron Ore Mining Complex in Itakwe, Kogi State. The moribund Ajakuta Steel Company is expected to come alive after an initial delay caused by the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic. Efforts by previous governments since 1979 to make Nigeria become self-sufficient in the manufacturing of steel has never been successful. Maybe this time, President Buhari's administration will just break the jinx with the concessioning plan. We believe that with this development, uh, would have made significant steps in bringing back to life both the Ajaokuta Steel Complex and the Iron Ore Company in uh, Itakwe, and uh, fast forward the Industrial Revolution of Nigeria. Council also approved the 2022 revised energy policy that seeks to harness the abundant energy sources available in the country and utilize it to enhance productivity in all sectors of the economy and also contribute to an improved supply of electricity across the country. Nigeria is so blessed and what we want to do is to make sure that we have a mix that will bring in all the various energy resources that Nigeria has for the benefit of our nation. Residents in the federal capital will soon feel the impact of an improved electricity supply when the construction of a direct circuit line from Katampe to the national stadium is completed. Already an approval has been given for the variation of the contract earlier granted in 2010. The Ministry of Power also got approval for the design and construction of transmission line from burning Kebi through Zuru to Yauri in Kebi State. At the cost of also two components, offshore and the onshore. The offshore is $25.8 million and the onshore is 10.2 billion naira. Before the commencement of this week's Federal Executive Council meeting, four new permanent secretaries were sworn in by President Muhammad Buhari. The new permanent secretaries are Mrs. Beatrice Jedi Agba, Kacholom Daju, Malam Shehu Ibrahim, and Dr. Mary Ogwe. Femi Akonde, CVC News, Abuja.